A protective cover made of a metal called coping is erected over the top of a wall, parapet, or other vertical surface that is located on a roof. Its primary function is to stop water from getting into the building through the gap between the wall and the roof, which is where it is attached. Aluminum, copper, stainless steel, and galvanized steel are just a few of the materials that can be utilized in the production of metal coping. Today we will talk all about metal coping. Types of metal coping used in commercial and residential roofing. In both commercial and residential roofing, there are a few different kinds of metal coping that can be employed. Roll formed coping. Roll formed coping is a type of coping that is constructed by starting with a continuous roll of metal and then bending it into the desired shape to cover the wall. Roll formed coping is simple to install and gives the appearance of being seamless and clean. Fabricated coping. Fabricated coping is coping that has been manufactured in a factory to the exact specifications of the wall it will cover. This kind of coping is generally utilized for roof designs that are very complicated or walls that have an uneven contour. Coping with a drip edge. This particular style of coping incorporates a drip edge, which assists in the movement of water away from the structure. The usage of drip margins is especially beneficial in regions that experience considerable snowfall or rainfall. Advantages of metal coping compared to other materials. In comparison to other materials, such as brick or concrete, metal coping has a number of distinct advantages. Long lasting. Metal coping is a long lasting choice for roofing since it is resistant to weathering, rust, and corrosion. This makes it an ideal material for use on roofs. Easier to install. Metal coping is easier to install than other coping materials since it is lighter than those other materials, so it is less likely to cause damage to the roof. Customization. The metal coping can be designed to meet the precise measurements of the wall, ensuring a flawless fit and providing the highest possible level of protection against water intrusion. Common materials used for metal coping. Here is a list of some of the materials that can be used to make metal coping. Aluminum. Aluminum is a material that is lightweight, resistant to corrosion, and easy to work with. It also requires very little care and can be easily cleaned. Copper. Copper is a material that has been used for roofing and coping for generations since it is an attractive material that is also quite durable. The passage of time causes a natural patina to form on its surface, lending it a recognizable appearance. Stainless steel. Stainless steel is a material that is perfect for usage in tough situations due to its high level of durability as well as its resistance to corrosion. Techniques for the installation of metal coping. When it comes to installing metal coping, there are a variety of different installation methods that may be used. Some examples of these methods include welding, mechanical fastening, and adhesive bonding. The most common method is known as welding, and it involves using a flame to join the coping and the wall by fusing their separate edges together. This is the most common method. To adhere the coping to the wall using glue rather than mechanical fasteners, such as screws or anchors, will require the use of a specialist adhesive. Mechanical fasteners, like as screws or anchors, are required for mechanical attachment. Because it stops water from getting into buildings, metal coping is a key part of roofing systems and is therefore an important component. It can be built from a broad variety of materials and is offered in a number of different forms, all of which are decided by the requirements of the specific construction that it will be used in. Metal coping has a number of advantages over other materials, including its longevity, the fact that it is lightweight, and the variety of customizing options it affords. It is possible to attach it to its host using a wide number of methods, such as adhesive bonding, welding, or mechanical attachment, to name just a few of the possibilities. Metal coping requires regular maintenance and repair. It is vital to perform regular maintenance and repairs on metal coping in order to ensure that it will last as long as possible and continue to be efficient in preventing water damage to the roof. The following are some important things to keep in mind when maintaining and repairing metal coping. Cleaning. Cleaning metal coping on a consistent basis is essential in order to remove any debris, filth, or other accumulation that may have accumulated on the surface of the material. This can be accomplished with the use of a gentle brush some water, and gentle soap. Rust prevention. 
It is possible to prevent rust from forming on metal coping by applying a coating that inhibits rust formation. This ought to be done before there is any indication that rust has formed. Inspection. It is important to do routine inspections of metal coping in order to spot any signs of damage or wear as soon as possible. Because of this, it may be possible to avoid expensive repairs or replacements in the future. Repair. It is essential to repair the metal coping as soon as possible if any damage or wear is discovered in order to avoid water infiltration. When making repairs, it's possible that pieces of the metal coping will need to be welded, patched, or replaced. Key distinctions between capping and flashing in roofing systems. Although they both work to prevent water from entering structures, coping and flashing do so in distinct ways due to the diverse locations in which they are installed and the purposes they serve. Flashing is installed on the roof at various points, such as around chimneys, vents, and skylights, to prevent water from entering through those areas. Coping is installed on the top of a wall or parapet to protect the junction between the wall and the roof, and flashing is installed on the roof at various points to protect the junction between the wall and the roof. Flashing can be constructed out of many different materials, including metal, rubber, or even plastic. Design factors to keep in mind while working with metal. The beauty of the building as a whole can be taken into consideration when designing the metal coping that will be used. Form. The profile of the roof, wall, or parapet can be molded into the shape of the metal coping so that it fits perfectly. The terms flat, sloped, and curved all refer to common shapes. Dimensions. The dimensions of the wall or parapet that the metal coping is protecting should be used to estimate the size of the metal coping that is needed to protect it. This gives the highest possible level of protection against water seepage. Coatings and paints can be used to give metal coping a range of colors, which can be chosen to complement the overall design of the building. Factors regarding the price of metal coping. The price of metal coping can change depending on a number of factors, such as the type of metal that is used, the size of the coping, and the method that is used to install the coping. Copper is typically the most expensive of the options, whereas aluminum is typically the least expensive alternative. The technique of installation can also have an effect on the cost. Welding, for example, is more expensive than mechanically fastening something. Metal coping presents a number of challenges. The expansion and contraction that occurs in response to changes in temperature is one of the most significant issues involved with metal coping. Changes in temperature can cause metal to drastically expand and contract, which can put stress on the coping and eventually cause it to get damaged or warped. This can happen over time. In order to overcome this obstacle, installers need to take into account the anticipated changes in temperature and construct the coping in such a way that it is compatible with those changes. This can include putting in expansion joints or coming up with some other solution to accommodate movement. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.